Hello everyone, Kristen here with a quick Tuesday tip. So, have you ever wondered why we call them charts, plots, and graphs all at once and wondering if there are actually any differences between those three things? Well, for our K-12 students, the answer is no. We don't necessarily need to teach them the difference between a graph and a chart and a plot and things like that. Technically speaking, there are differences among those. So let's break it down a little bit. And this is where I do wanna say a bit of a caveat. Lots of people have lots of different opinions as to what is technically a graph or a chart or a plot. This is why we sometimes use them interchangeably. This is why I don't think it's super necessary for our K-12 students to know the difference between each of these things. But here is one way that we can think about it. Okay, a graph is when we are representing quantitative data. Line graph. Thank you, Charity Party, for providing us some examples, okay? We have numeric data in, that, in those quantitative variables. Here, it's a uh, time between before texting back and then right, Charity Party, you pick your y-axis. So you would wanna make sure you pick something that is also quantitative data so that you could plot it on a graph. So quantitative data, like our line graph, is a graph. You're representing that. Next one, the plot. Also quantitative data, but we graph it or we plot it. Oh my goodness, we're using the verbs in these words all like interchangeably. It just gets all muddled in our English language. Mom. We add the data values into the interface where the data are gonna show up as points. So here we've got a scatter plot of mile running time, and then we would need to pick again another quantitative value and we are plotting the points. Okay, so elementary teachers, this is partially why in elementary math, we call this when there's only one dimension, a line plot. When we're only doing dots of the values of one variable or one attribute, we call it a line plot. And then we shift over and we start calling a dot plot <laughs> when we move up into middle school because we need to talk about scatter plots and things like that and line graphs, right? So, oh man, we call all these things different things and it's very confusing. But in general, a plot is when we are plotting individual points. <sighs> Which brings us to chart. So when we think about a chart, we have quantitative data, but we can also look at it across categories. So. Bring on the good old bar chart that all of our students love. So we've got pet type, our categories of pet type. So then we wanna make sure if we're playing charity party that we pick a quantitative variable for our Y axis. So a chart is a way to generally help us compare across categories. So there are a couple examples of where why it's a chart versus a plot versus a graph. And I just wanna reiterate these nuanced differences are not that important for our learners to know. This falls into the camp, my opinion, of vocabulary. And it's more important, can we actually get them making sense of the bar chart? And when, what types of questions we use for bar charts rather than for line graphs, rather than for scatter plots. Okay, quick Tuesday tip. If you are ever curious about the difference between chart, plot, and graph, there's a little bit of a rundown on that. If you're now curious about Charity Party and you wanna play too, click on the link below and you can get a discount on your copy. Good to see you all. Have a great day. Enjoy playing with your data. Bye.